All right, front brake fuel selector set to fullest tank. Fuel selector set right here. I will say in the NG, there's a fuel selector valve right here. It's not a fuel selector. It's an emergency fuel valve. Okay. And it's wired. And if you don't see that there's a wire, and you think, oh, that's interesting. I want to try that one time. And you turn it, it'll break the damn wire. Oh. So it automatically switches tanks or just pulls from both? Nope. So the NG model burns only from that side. Oh, and that one feeds. So you're watching and you get out of balance, you bring the fuel pump on it, transfers from here to there. Oh. And you have to keep your balance that way. Oh, okay. So that's one interesting thing about the NG model. I'm starting recording right now. Oh gosh. Now you edit for content, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, nothing will be held against you. I appreciate it. Unless, unless you don't pay. <laughs> hey! What? Oh. Do you do that at the run-up or you do it here? I, I tend to go down there and, okay, that's and, fine. and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Uh-oh. Do we need that? Do you need that? Oh, shoot. Hey. My iPad was out there, too. Do you see that? Oh, sh Forgot that stuff. It's all right. You were very excited to go flying with me. <laughs> I hope I didn't bust. I busted one before leaving it on the damn wing. Oh, no. Run it. Man, look at that. Man, who made that case? I don't know. That's an ad for those people. That's a case. This flight is sponsored by, who is that? <laughs> uh, but no, back to what we're talking about here. Um, so the NG, uh, cold, it takes so long, you can't do anything until you got to get your coolant temp up, you got to get your oil temp up, you got to get all those temperatures up. So instead of just sitting here in the gate, okay. tend to just... I'm fine with that. Easy down there. So that's that's another difference between the two that I've... Okay, what's your controls? Oh gosh. Today, I'm flying with Mark you oh gosh i meant to check my um ID. and i'm going to be getting some information now, you see i'm in the left seat i'm in the learning seat um mark's the cfi who's getting checked out in this plane but he has a lot of experience in the ng version of this plane which i have uh, never flown Lima, charlie just report uh, uh the ng has the the fadex system the diesel engine so there's a little bit of difference as far as the powertrain goes so i'll be interested to hear how this differs for better or for worse than the ng um, the flight controls in his flying, I expect to be perfect right off the bat, because that, that <laughs> should be that should be no different. Oh, okay. This should be a very short checkout flight. Yeah, this comedy brought to you by Little Debbie <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the fancy FedEx, so we have three knobs as opposed to one knob. You do. And I was also just told that you don't switch tanks in the NG. Um, they all feed together. Off, it pulls off the left and right feeds left, I guess. Correct. So we have the extra um, knob there. We do have a timer set up in the G1000 to remind you every 30 minutes or so to switch. Yeah, the NG, uh, on the run-up is pretty simple also. It's, I'm sure it's a little different here, but... Uh, you you push a button, don't you? You do. You do. The first thing you do is you uh, you got a voter A, voter B, and both. Over there on the left-hand side. Yeah. Cycle it to voter A. It'll bump. Cycle it back to auto. Or both, I'm sorry. And then you cycle it down to B. To B. Well, you're going to have to do a little more work in this one. Yeah, this one is labor intensive. My goodness. <laughs> my gosh, I have to break sweat working in this thing. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah, and then, like you said, you just push a button, you hold it, you get some fails up here on the on the cast messages. Um, it'll run up, cycle to prop, run back up, drop down. It'll change over to the other ECU, run up, back down, run back up, back down, and you're done. And as long as your temperatures are good, you're good to go. Let's see, ammeters check. We do have voltage. We got amps good. Fuel sliders. Change tanks. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, we need to change tanks at least once. I don't know. If, have we changed them yet? Um, we have not on the ground. Did y'all change out outbound back in your other flight? Well, regardless, we're supposed we're still to run them here. We run off both tanks for a certain amount of time just to make sure we're on the ground. That we're pulling. I, I haven't been listening. Did somebody call in with a problem? Uh, well, let's see. What are we on? We are not on. The blaze trucks will be on ground. They actually, okay. yep, they will okay. not be on. It'll be the next one to land. Oh, yep. Oh, we, we got, got an alert. We got, we got an alert problem. coming in. So, all right. So let's get our stuff done so we can watch this. I know it's going to. Oscar Trek 363 South ramp with Oscar ready taxi VFR Northeast. They were not listening either. I guess. Uh, blaze three tower. Crew Trek 363, just stand by. 
place to you. Uh, the next aircraft to land will be the uh, aircraft. Uh, he's about five miles out still. It's a Cirrus, uh, three souls, and he said he had 82 gallons. Roger that. And I'm All sorry, right. it's only one soul. One soul on board. Oh, uh, Cirrus is not a gear Next problem. Thank you. Must be an engine problem. Yep, must be. Career track's getting antsy over there. They are. Okay, we're cleared out night three. One of those two down there. All right, well, let's get in position. Hey, you go ahead. Squeeze in a call whenever you can. 5120 for Sears 4 Rear track is going bananas, and there's another one over there. No, we're going to beat him out. Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, Conk, ground runway 2, tax via Alpha. Runway 2 via Alpha. Runway 2 via Alpha, career track, 10 to 3. I get the career track part, but their their numbers don't follow their tail number. It's just a, no. where are they getting the numbers from? I don't know. Um, Rimmer has it. They've got one of those bingo machines, <laughs> and they turn it and they draw in the morning. I don't know if that's true, and anybody, if that makes it to the tape, <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to say that's not right, just let me know that. So while we're waiting for him, I, if you had ever watched one of my videos, my uh, pre-takeoff checklist, you can use the checklist, but I have this question mark pattern. Oh. It catches everything. That's good. And I'm thinking about copywriting it, so because uh, people have been using it. I've had a lot of people say they're going to steal it. Well, you know, the question mark's been used for a long time. I don't think you can <laughs> uh, uh, patent that. Four Tower, well, this up here. Nine Iron Quebec is 10 miles to the northeast. I don't know if that's what you meant, but I'm just... The actual question mark. Oh, okay. okay. The technique. Two, the question mark technique. Test the 389 ah, Quebec. What? Okay. Sure. Right I didn't know. I didn't want to say. No, I don't think I can copyright the question mark. Right I could retire, though. Criminal 023, tag the Alpha to the ramp. Good day. But we'll do the question mark. Nice. Landing light strobes, backups. Breakers, flaps, fuel pump, prop Sirius mixture, two, Charlie Delta, fuel tank, two, taxi trip. Vehicle. Catches everything in the checklist. I like that. Did you go? I'm ready. All right, very good. I see two. Yep, we're on the right runway. We are on the right runway. That's important. That is important. So we'll bring the, bring the power <laughs> coming in. It's the little things. It, it is the little stuff, you know. Is there's full power. Uh, keep that stick just slightly forward. Let's keep that nose wheel. There ain't no, much weight over the nose in this yeah. one. All right there, she's getting light. Oh, there we go, 59. Ooh. All right, as soon as we pull flaps, we're going to come back on the RPMs to 2400. All right, All right you said we pull back 2400? 2400. So the only time we run full RPMs is on takeoff or when we're coming in for landing, preparing for a go around. Um, climbs, I use full manifold. I do a, like my 500 foot check, lights off, flaps, pumps, we bring it back. In the, in the NG, you actually have to pull it back to 92 percent power. You don't have to. You get some time, but you do get an enunciator at percent power. Okay. So 92 is a, a good climb for that. Yeah. So. And then lastly, since we got some timer going straight, let's check our lean. I know you're not used to that. Oh no. <laughs> I like the EGTs just below 1500. Okay. All right. So our I told Mark earlier. So my standard checkout is, and we can do this in any order. I'm slow flight, steep turns, stalls, both power on, power off, and then a landing or two. We got 108 knots, so we put our first notch of flaps in. We'll just bring the power back and hold it right here to pull. Right. And we'll cut. We already did our clearing turn. We did. We've done our clearing turn, and you know this canopy, you can see. Right. We can see the next week. Yes. I can tell you what the weather's going to be next <laughs> tomorrow. All right. You know. If you're out to see bug to 4,000. Yeah, we're we'll sure. we'll give you a heading bug for a heading. It'll work. There's first notch of flaps coming in. We're starting to slow down. At 91, we'll go ahead and bring all our flaps in. There, there we go, 59. Nice. Do I know my plane? No, you my plane. There you go. Anytime there's a little turbulence like that, she'll she'll squeeze. Yep. At about 20 inches of manifold pressure. About 24. 20 by 24 is what it likes. Yep. Staying right. coordinated. So nice. we've got clear. So whenever you're ready, just give me a give me a 90 turn to the left. A 90 turn to the left. Here it goes. It's just gonna milk it around, nice yep. and easy and nice slow. Nice and easy. That's one thing in the ACS. There is no time on this. There's no speed, there's no anything, and I, when I instruct people or I pick up a student and they're doing that, I'm like, also you got to remember when you turn, I had to add a little power, right? We're losing that, that vector. Right, plus your stall speed goes up and we're, uh, we're about 10 knots above stall right now. So now we're running about 21 and a half inches. Yeah, just take your time on these, that's, that's the key. These are not rush maneuvers. Nope. You got to remember, as nervous as you are, the examiner is twice as nervous. That's right, you don't want to die today. That's right, that's right. Well, there's 90 degrees to the left. All right, and you're just inside your 100. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is not a check ride, so we're not Well, I, I didn't pull the power back. I was, I wanted, 
That was a test. You passed. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job. One day okay. you might be a CFI. That was fine. All right. <laughs> so let's pull power out, pitch down. We'll go to 75. That's a 70 to 75 is approach speed. And then do a power off stall and recover. All right. So here we go. The power on back. There's 75. We're coming into land. You like the power all the way back? Uh, a thousand's fine. A thousand RPM. Okay. Hey. There it is. So we're just going to bring our nose on up now. Like power off stall. Coming into land. We just got too high. There it is. We're not paying attention. And there's the brake. brake. Full power. Right. Lower the nose. Yep. Now we're just climbing away. That's the key. That right rudder in it. Up. And did you see how you, you had to pull her to brake? did. That's, it likes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, if you just hold her there, she'll buff it forever. All right. Very nice. Let's recover from that and try a power on. Oh, that was a good stall. It's almost like you've done one of those before. Well, I've seen a lot of your YouTube videos. That's <laughs> what I, you know, I, you know. Martha King and the gang and, and all them, that's fine, but Bruce's YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you for the, how much I, do I have to pay for this endorsement? I you, I, you know, I can't believe the FAA has not said, I mean, this guy, we need to give him an award. <laughs> that's the kiss of death. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me, Bruce, if you get invited out to Kitty Hawk this year. for. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, 1,700 subscribers. I'm uh, uh, not quite world famous. Well, it won't be long. <laughs> Word gets out. You got the fat kid in here on the right side. You, you people, are like, man, I gotta oh, follow that I gotta idiot. Watch this thing. I gotta watch that fool. <laughs> so we start approximate lift off speed according to the standards. Right, so, so we'll get the power We're, we're simulating a takeoff that has gone awry. Now uh, we do it with uh, half flaps, or you leave the flaps up. Uh, you can do it either way. If you want to do a takeoff, that's fine. All right. So there's about 65. We'll go ahead and start it in. Uh, let's get our heading book set. There you go. Ready? Yep, ready to go. All right. So here we go. We're gonna start bringing in the power full. Bring the nose up. That's probably enough there, pitch yep, there. I felt it. Yep. I felt it in the tail. Yeah, sure did. A, that was enough pitch. We didn't even get the chevrons. Nope. We'll make it stop hollering and we reverse the trend, right? We want to okay. pop that climb. Get it down to manageable. So yeah, that's interesting. You do in a T-tail. You feel that so much. You feel the yep. shake. Yeah. And um, in the power on, you can't pull her into the stall like you can in the power off. You'll, you'll just over pitch her. Yeah. All right, I was okay. happy with that. You kept her nice level, right? Oh. All right, so advisory is probably switch tanks. Yes, so fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Yeah, switch tank. All right, so we just pull up and twist. No, you have to pull up, just twist. Oh, excellent. There you go. There you go. Let her run for a second. If she's good, fuel pump off and just reset your alert. All right, let's go to Davidson and do a landing. XX, it'll be. As you know, and I'm sure the NG's the same, hey, if you're carrying too much airspeed, she's not going to sit down. Well, that is true. That is true. But they will float. The NG, the NG, if you pull, if you take that handle and move it to the back, you have taken an airplane and turned it into a nice modular brick. Really? Oh, it falls. Really? Oh, yes. Wonder why that, is that the heavier engine? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Or low approach. Um, I am guessing it's a it's and a. Davidson County Skyline Nine. Had to leave a little power in. And Davidson Travis, five two six Delta Sierra is turning final two four. Be a touch and a go. Davidson. Nope. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Right, so they like to fuel pump full uh, prop, rich is good, and then you got one notch of flaps to go. Here. You're going to want to bleed some of that speed. Yep. Or you're going to float. That's why I try to get them down to 80 on base. So when they turn final, it's easier to slow her down. Uh. All right, so we're looking for the wind sock. I see it. It's uh, going to be some right wing and left Still pedal. Just a little bit. There's 75, 76 coming in. Here comes the... There. And see how she's going to float. I'll float a little bit. That's all right. We're going to fix it, right? Whoa, that was a gust. That wasn't me. That was a gust. That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, oh right, hold that nose up. Hold that nose I up. I got yep, it. Yep, you got it. All right. Yes, Lord. Okay. We better do we a, called uh, it. We called a gust. Uh, it was a good five-knotter. It was. It went back and forth. <laughs> all right, we'll get that up. We won't do it. But the good thing is, 
Your viewers don't know what the wind was doing, they'll just have to take our word for it. I can superimpose a really gusty day in there. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> All right, so while we just head home, and you can redeem yourself at Concord. A little high. Oh. So we'll just take that power on back. And if you want, you know, you know, he's got that extra notch you can put in now if you want to try to kill yeah, it down. We can do that, you know. We're inside. That's a speed check. Uh, We're here 9 Tango, runway 2, taxi via Alpha. Uh, turned her in a little short, made you high. Uh, well, that happens, you know. Let's see if you can fix her up. We get older. That happens, <laughs> you know. Oh, she's sinking like a rock now. Uh, once those once those landing flaps take, she will slow down and go. Yeah. All right, we got one, Red. You're going to bring her right in. Oh, and yeah. You know she's going to sink over the trees. Absolutely. Right, we can go ahead and start bringing a little power. And there's two white, two reds. Oh, there's three. Three reds. Yeah. Well, that's, that's bad. Eight ride just busted. Let me spot your speed. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's a nice bump. There's a bump. Wasn't that something? All right, so you can start walking power back now. Cause see, we're doing 83. Yep. There you go. And just ride her. There we go. Ah, a little, dang uh, it. A little hop. Dang it. That's a lot better than before. That was a lot better. I'll take a little hop. Goes high. All good. I'm going to let Jess show me how to do it this afternoon. <laughs> well, it's a win. We still have three wheels. We didn't break anything. We didn't lose any paint. Yeah. You didn't yell. I didn't cry. Oh. I so, said, that's, uh, yeah, we're going to sign off on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call the insurance company up the coverages. <laughs> a, not a bad plan today. <laughs>